Hello everybody, my name is Aceface and welcome back to the T0 to T6 Abyss series. We're going to continue on our way to T4 Abyss and eventually T6 Abyss. We're soon there, we're soon there. Uh, our skills developing, we've got 16 days until her result cruises level 5. That's when I'm going to seriously consider doing T... Like, definitely, I'm going to be focusing on T4, at least skill-wise. Um, Ship-wise, I think we do need to make some upgrades, and we do ne we need about 200-something million isk to be able to make those necessary upgrades. We've got 159 million isk now. So a bit more progress is required. When it comes to project discovery right here, only five more levels are required until we actually get to the level which we get a pacifier blueprint. And from that, we can get like just a quick 150 million isk. So definitely we'll be able to get a T4 capable ship when we, uh, when we get five more levels of this project discovery right here. So we're gonna be continuing on that while we at the same time are doing the T3 Abyss. I'm gonna be going in quite, uh, doing a risky kind of style upgrading our ship going to t4 instead of buying a brand new ship and uh, going uh, and do, doing that for t4 uh, but the risky thing is that if i somehow die then i mean then i have to go back to retribution which is really tragic my reasoning here is that the t4 loot is going to be so much more that i'll be easily i'll very easily earn the isk to fly a t3 capable ship so i'll sort of have that as a backup right there and I think the likelihood of me dying in the T4 is very low. The main uh, worry I have is that we somehow die to gank. That's actually my biggest worry. Uh, but it should be alright. It should be alright. Uh, especially if we are vigilant. Watch out for gank because it should be alright. Let's go and do some product discovery slides. I can remember that five more levels until we get the necessary isk to get the... Uh, the T4 capable ship then uh, you know, when it comes to heavy assault cruise level 5 16 days away but I mean I could do T4s even with uh, heavy assault cruise level 4 but I prefer to have level 5 it's not I don't think it's at all going to be a make or break kind of skill that like it's a very essential skill because you get extra DPS and range but just 5% extra range or DPS and 10% extra range I don't think it's going to make us the all we can't do T4 or we can okay renewing our divas Renewing Road Divas. They're pretty easy. Like basically a weak Vedmac essentially. Deploy Acolytes. I've got some little rogue drones as well at the same time. I can get some conflagration on the case. Yeah, there we go. Come on, hit, hit, hit. Yeah, there we go. When I cruised by this Road Diva, he was getting uh, a lot of missing shots. It's a bit like that sometimes with the transversal is really bad. Oh, never mind. Rogue drone. Oh, I, I had drones are getting hammered. Scorch. Come on, drones. Okay, good. Attack this Rodiva, please. 2.4 million. Not so much. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Keep a range of 500 on this gate right here. Oof, those rogue drones are going down so fast. So good to see. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Keep it range 500. Poppity pop. Continue on the product disco. I call it product disco. It's like it looks a bit like disco lights you've got going on over here. All these different patterns. <laughs> okay, recall drones. Oh, that one was getting battered up quite badly. Make a big blob here. Okay, if you this super easy wave. I mean, all these waves are easy because it's just T3 Abyss. I mean, whoa. It's really easy. Especially since our skills are really good, it's just better and better. Because in the beginning, when we did this, we had a, uh, a lot worse skills. Now we have very good skills when it comes to our zealot piloting. There's all oh, heavy uh, demon automatics press absolutely shredding them. It's a short range when it has to be, yeah, because their HP just vaporized. It doesn't usually happen in a medium ranged one as quick as we saw right there. Look at that, like half the HP of all our drones just disappeared. It's very tragic to see. But T3, I mean, is nothing for this zealot. It's so easy. Sanch wave can be a bit difficult, but still, it's like... This thing handled it no problem, right? One of the best ships I can use for T3. Be able to do them quickly and also very reliably. Like, you can use Caracals and T3 Darks. I don't like it because it's just very slow, uh, and also I think it's a little. You can make sometimes mistakes there. 
because if you uh, out, get outmaneuvered or something because you kite a bit using that kind of style of ship then you can obviously use a gila and gila is very expensive the whole of that thing costs the same price as this whole ship and fit so I really like the zealot for that reason this is quite cost effective quite a skill effective ship as well we're using almost all our skills that we've previously used for the retribution and punishes it's, it's a really smooth ride to say the least get the other fire going on should maybe make this a little bit smaller perhaps or maybe just make it so that I can at least see the slider when I click away 2.4 million ah oh, it's not so much but at least it's not 1 million or something because there's 1 million by that to cash it they're tragic absolutely tragic can I please just shoot? Thank you very much. Keep a range 500 on the transfer conduit. I think we're not, yeah, we're not seeing everything. Let's make some big boxes right there. Soon level 46. That's pretty cool. That means only four more levels until we can make the upgrades to our zealot. It's going to have some pretty beastly resistance modules and also a beastly armor repair. I'll make it a lot more potent than it is right now in terms of this tank. In terms of DPS, it's going to be about the same. I prefer to be on the safe side when it comes to tank when we're doing this series right here. But uh, when we get to T5, T6, then it will focus on DPS because we're going to have blinged our tank so hard that DPS is actually more important than having a good tank. Okay, next room. Let's go. We're doing so a bit too fast. So we got kicked from the product disco, the bouncer. The researcher kicked us. <laughs> okay. Got some Triglavins. No problem. We actually tank Triglavins so well. Because of our really great Thelma resist. We'll move towards buying out of cash over there. Yeah, oh yeah. 46 and we've got 1.4 million in Isk tick as well. Very nice to see. We've got, we've got a starving dam over there. We'll also take our drones to help a little bit as well. It's always a good because these damas are usually pretty difficult to hit. Come on, get some good hits right there with the Imperial Navy. Popped. Great. And we'll go for Kikis. Maybe we'll go for Drekovax actually because they are going to repair all their HP. Do not want that to happen because you see they're damaged. If we go for the Kikis first, then they're going to repair it all. Speaking of repairing... That Danovic is getting repaired quite a bit. It's quite annoying to see. So, you know what? We're just going to go for the Drekovax. That is just the way it is. We'll go for Scorch right here. Got quite a lot of uh, flow cytometry reward crates accumulated because of our product discovery. We'll check in the station later, but you can see that we've got actually quite a lot of them. They're not as valuable as they used to be. They actually used to be worth quite a bit. 20 million in fact. But that was just on the, like, the first few days of the release of... Not this one actually. But the previous one. The Exoplanet uh, Product Discovery. Because right now this is like COVID-19 research product discovery. But it was only for a short period of time it went down in price. As time went by. Okay. We'll go for a Scorch right here. Perhaps use the Aquas to aid a little bit on the DPS front. We'll do some pulse lays over here. Okay, I don't know why that guy is getting so far away. Guess he's afraid of our zealot. Okay, I was excited for a second when I saw T fulfillment. Then I realized it's the worst T fulfillment you can have. So that was nothing. Was not, my hopes and dreams were crushed. That could have potentially been like 10 million. Instead, it's nothing. This raiding firestorm 250k is nothing. It's just that they're a little bit more difficult type of T4 size to run. So not so many people are running them. That's just simply how it is. That's why when I find fits that I'm able to run them, like my T4 hybrid gila, I get very happy because I'm able to come out with a very good profit. But it's only very particular fits I find that usually work in those firestorms. It's not at all as easy as, like, for example, electric where your capacity is bonused. Makes the whole situation so much easier. Oh no, Acolyte, please don't die. Kiki Moore just sniped him. No scoped him. Oh no. Kiki Moore is when they decide to go for my drones. 
they are going down. They like two shot them almost. This happened before actually. Where I had uh, drones just cruising around the uh, previous episode. I, I think it's the one that's called dr I call drone casualties. Uh, uh, just from nowhere lost a drone and then another one just suddenly got sniped and it was a Kikimura wave if I recall correctly and if I recall correctly we should be using Scorch at this kind of range because we're missing everything laboratory accident because I clicked there oh. if you click on the window over here and uh, oh that drone almost died and you don't like create a box it just causes a laboratory accident okay let's go Go to Jeetan and resupply right there. That last uh, wave took a bit of time because I was not using the right ammo, just missing all the time. Repair our ship. If I can repair my ship properly. Thank you. And I'll get some of these acolytes over here. Need a bunch of these spares because we're always losing them. Not easy to keep my acolytes alive. No, it's running last sight. Okay, let's get to work. Move this old, this new, um, move this new acolyte to the DPS fold over here. Okay, we've got Overmind. It's the slow boy. I'll get the drones on him straight away. It's a bit difficult though when drone control range is so short. And the even automatic suppressor is just ripping into pieces. You can soon use the drones on the overmine. It's 35 kilometer range in them. He might be getting stuck in an asteroid actually. <laughs> Go towards this bioadaptive cache over here. Oh yes, raging electrical. One of the pillars we'll be using in the future. <laughs> 10 million is right there. That's the kind of stuff I like to see get close to him. Does he want to use comm flag? Just snipe these little frigates in the meantime I will get closer to the overmind to be able to use comm flag. The tankiest guy single target in the abyss. The overmind. I don't think there's any enemy that is like just single handedly tankier than him. There's some waves that have more HP. I think uh, the Lucid Deep Watcher wave can have more HP and also the Fialtus wave can have more HP but the single tankiest NPC, I would say, is the Overmind. He has big shield, big armor, big structure, big everything. It's a big boy. Yeah, getting some decent ticks right here as well from the Project Discovery. Overlapping chart. Okay, now I'll go to the transfer conduit. This guy's going down soon. Ooh, have we run out of ammunition? Conflagration, maybe? So we'd run out of ammunition over there because I didn't see any ammunition there. I think one of them had burnt out and just wants me to swap ammunition. It happens like that. I can check here. How much do we have? We don't have a whole lot. Have we got five of them? Yeah. Conflagration. No, we don't have any. We need to stock up on conflagration, actually. That's a great thing about the Amarian ships is that you have so much ammunition capacity out of such a small amount of like or small size of ammunition okay i shouldn't be using a corn flag at this range <laughs> maybe i can use the webify on this gaze dim over here take him out but not a corn flag at 36 kilometer range come on move towards the overmine again i was paying too much attention to the ammunition i just drifted away too much. Yeah, now I can use Scorch. Slow down a bit. Go to the transfer conduit now. I think now is about time to go to the transfer conduit. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Oh, we've got another level now in Project Discovery. Level 47. Three more levels until we've got the pacifier blueprint. F.E. Altus, baby easy wave. In T6 gammas, they're not so baby easy because they take a long time. In T3, it's no problem. They don't do so much damage and you're just sitting here chilling. They all get in perfect range of comp flags, so it's actually a pretty quick wave. Even if you do a T6 uh, zealot build, 
the, it actually goes pretty quickly just because of how powerful conflag works in these kinds of waves. So they're really optimal for how they orbit and their AI behavior. You'll see here how conflag is going to wreck them to pieces because they're all orbiting like a perfect range of conflag. Our highest dam uh, damage ammunition. And encapsulate these slides. Make our way towards the bioadaptive cache. Okay, so not so much here, but we've got a VEDMAC blueprint, which is actually worth a pretty penny. I think 2.5 or 5 million. So decent loot so far. 17 million plus the VEDMAC blueprint, probably 20 million plus. Good to see, good to see. Let's encapsulate this slide over here. Blast away FEALs with conflag. Just perfect. You don't even have to do any kind of maneuvering at all. They just all get in range. Webify them. You track really well. 1.4 million tick. I like seeing those 1.4 million product discovery ticks. Those are more on the high side. I never really get more than 1.4 million isk uh, product discovery ticks. So seeing the 1.4 million means that oh, okay, I've done a really good job because. I think if you get more than 1.4 million, it's hard, like almost impossible, because uh, you're then doing them too fast, and the game doesn't like it when you do them too fast. I don't know if I can use my drones here. Well, it doesn't really matter because this guy's going to go down anyway really quickly. Uh, the short range even automatic suppressor was kind of causing so much issues in the beginning, just obliterated my drones. Like these are armor based drones, these acolytes. They lost uh, their shield plus half their armor, which is their main HP pool. In just a matter of seconds. That's how powerful the short range D auto suppressors work on the unbonus light drones. Oh, another one of these Bathnik Abyssal Overmines. Another short range D automatic suppressor. Every room has got D automatic suppressor, a short range one as well. It's like uh, before we were encountering Tachyon Clouds in every single room. Now we're encountering short range D automatic suppressors in every room. It could be good when you get a rogue drone like this, is actually very appreciated. But it's quite annoying when you want to use drones offensively. It can be a quite frustrating experience. Well, we'll just have to grind away at this overmind. Since he likes to be the way he is. Uh, tanky. And flying away and not trying to kite us so you always have to sort of catch up to him it's not like he comes to you like certain npcs like the fialtas we encountered before oh this snare cast is making us go super slow there we go oh beam this road drone over mine to death 3.2 million okay Oof, that's actually decent loot 20 million plus the red bank blueprint oh it's really great to see actually really great it's really great isk making really good progress we've both made strides in product discovery but also our general abyss loot has been pretty damn good actually especially in this run the previous one was pretty bad but this one it just feels like it makes up for it so much you never get doing t1 like before this i was doing t1s in a frigate you never get this kind of isk in t1s very rarely this is a bit more common to get the rare good drops baseline standard loot is about the same but the red drops are so much better in the T3. And they're also a lot more common because you just have a more, uh, like a bigger probability of encountering the higher tier filaments, good neutroplasmids, etc. etc. Okay, conflagration. Slow down, slow down. I have to slow down. Keep a range 10 kilometers. I think that'll be a good range. The annoying thing about his AI is he's like Herb this Tyrannos, he likes kiting. So when you get close to him, he's just on the other side of the map, and then you have to make your way all the way until the transfer conduit or origin conduit. But it's actually quite good in this room in particular because the boundary is very close to the origin conduit, so you go there very quickly. Okay, taking care of that guy. It was pretty... Oh, 1.5 million. Is cr uh, that was actually pretty decent. Uh, I mean, this was a pretty long T3, mainly because we had so many abyssal overmines that just made everything take such a lot so much longer than it otherwise would be but it was all right it was all right it was worth it because of the good loot we got i can't make boxes it's so annoying 
Oh, it's soon level 48 actually. I'm making a lot of progress. Been intensely doing product discovery slides here. Only a few more until level 48, and then it's only two more levels left until level 50. That's great to see, great to see. But I mean, if we're keeping up with this kind of loot, we might even get enough is to upgrade our ship with just raw, is uh, raw abyss loot rather than uh, product discovery loot or isk. But it is going pretty quickly as well to get the product discovery levels up. I mean, two more is not going to be a whole long time. I mean, in this session we've done right here, we're soon going to get three. I mean, only two more is needed, so less than what we've done today. Can I please just okay dock up right here? Okay, there we go. Leveled up to level 48. It's only two more levels and the perfect timing for disqualifying me saying I'm doing it too fast because I'm just about done with priority discovery for today. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, did I, didn't I dump some of the loot in here from before? Yeah, I did some of the loot in before. Okay, so from this run right here, we got... How much is it? No, we don't want to include the Fierce Firestorm. We've got 16 million. So it was not 20 million, but it's because I was including this Fierce Firestorm here. Uh, plus the Vedmac Blueprint, which is worth... Oh. What is it worth? Ah, oh, no, wait, auction. Let's do, is there a way to do just buy? Want to sell. Don't want auctions. How do I exclude auctions? Okay, there we go. So 7.3 million, something like that. That, I think, is some pretty good is Actually, then we got over 20 million from that one run right there. So really great risk. Plus the product discovery progress we'll be making. Oof. That's really good. That's really good. We're soon going to get that T4 abyss, guys. Soon T4. Soon T4. So that's enough for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.